Okay, here's a quick demonstration of my electric spinner. I'll include the link to the plans that we used to build this on the bottom of the post here. Anyway, you can see I've got it broken down right now, and I'll show you how to set it up. I already have a little bit of yarn on the bobbin here, and you can see one of the benefits of this particular plan is that the bobbins are really big. I can fit probably about 8 ounces of wool on here. And to set it up, I just slide it on here at the end, and slide the whole thing into the slot, which is a little tricky to do one-handed, but I'll manage. Alright, this slides down to the end here, and I get the pulley set up, make sure all the teeth are set up with the gear. Otherwise, it's not going to rotate particularly well. Alright, push this to the end again. And I have a pin here to hold it. Alright. Now, the original plan had a bar for the brake. And the problem that I was having was that it kept burning through whatever material I was using for the bar. So I've sort of scrapped that plan. And I've swapped in piece of crochet cotton with a small spring in it just to make it a little bit springy and it's got a hook on the end so I can hook it on and I wrap it around here so it gets lots and lots of space to grip on so I can get a fair amount of friction here and and they set this down so I can actually do it with both hands because this is really not something I can do with just one hand. And I have a chain so I can adjust how many links up or down to make sure it's a tight or a looser fit over the bobbin and get more uptake or less. And it just latches onto the chain and that'll give me a little bit of friction so we have a little bit of differential between this rotation and this. Alright, now to feed the yarn through, I already have a good end loose here. I'll just pull it and pull it through the hooks and set this down again. Alright, now I have orifice hooked here, which is just a piece of bent wire. grab end of the yarn, pull it through, and we're pretty well set up to spin. Alright, I'm going to set up over here so you can see it as it rotates. So, when I turn it on, I just get some wool, make sure there's a fair amount of tension on here. Turn it on. And start the spinning.